Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. It is time for snacks around the world. Yes, definitely going around the world today. I have got a snack from Ireland, my first time. I have got a snack from Vietnam. Looks like something sweet, maybe. And a snack that says Hershey's all over it, but it's from Korea. Hmm. I think it's also sweet because, you know, chocolate. So I'm going to start with the one that appears to not be sweet. This is from Ireland, Tato, Tato, beef and onion, light crispy potato chips and a beef and onion flavor. Hmm. That could be very, very interesting. And of course, they've got a little story on it about, you know, set deep inside Ulster's countryside is Tato Castle, where Tato have been making some of the world's best love crisps and snacks since 1956. Using the best local ingredients, Mr. Tato, and that apparently is Mr. Tato, uh, selects the finest specialty grown spuds, gently cooking them until crisp and golden. Finally. In a secret part of the Tato Castle, our crisps are given their special flavor, ensuring you get irresistible crisps every time. And then you can go to Tato.com to arrange a tour. That's so funny. But yes, that's Mr. Tato, apparently. Let's see if... Oh, I got into this. Good, good, good. It smells lightly of like a beef and onion soup. Just a little, not very much. Looks like chips or as across the pond they would call them crisps. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. All right, Ireland. Good potato. A snack like this and I savory chip, I would just eat the whole bag. Seriously. Nice crunch. Castle cooked since 1956. I love it. They're not a kettle cooked chip, chip, so they're not super, super duper crunchy, but they do have a nice crunch to them. A good savory, salty flavor. You get a little bit of beef, you get some onion. It's not super intense, but it's yummy. This one's definitely fat chick approved. Let me set this down. That is Tato beef and onion. All right, very, very cool. I'm going to go next to what is probably chocolate. Hershey's Choco Waffle. Crunchy waffle cookies made with Hershey's chocolate. And this is from Korea. Let's see if I can open this. Oh, I smell the chocolate. Where's, there's my scissors. I don't trust myself to not bust this into a zillion pieces trying to get into it, so. Deborah Proof, packaging be gone. It's already busted a little bit, but it has been all over the place little waffle kind of cookie there. Mmm. Smells like chocolate. A chocolatey cookie, or a biscuit, as some would say. This would be awesome with some milk. A little glass of milk, or maybe some hot cocoa, if you want to go like total, you know, chocolate sensation. But yeah. Fat chick approved. Absolutely. And quite yummy. They should sell these over here, quite honestly. This is something that would definitely appeal, appeal to the American market. I don't even think you have to put like any double stuff or anything goofy in it. Just a nice little cookie. All right, nicely done Korea and Hershey's. And now I've probably got chocolate in my teeth. But 
by the way, this is Baja Blast Mountain Dew. Zero, though. No sugar. Because I wanted some caffeine and I didn't want coffee or tea while I was working. This is so good. I love it. I think a lime flavor. The color is weird, but I like it. Okay, finally, hurrah, layer cake. Pandan flavor layer cake. I don't know what pandan is. This is from Vietnam. And let me just cut into it because I know that I'll make a mess of this. Well, it smells sweet, I can tell you that. That's what's in there. You can see the green in between. A little bit of sponge there with a little something in between. Mm. Very light. A little dry. I think it'd be best with, you know, coffee or tea. Some tea would be awesome with this. It's not overly sweet. I was expecting it to be way sweeter than it is. But it's just a nice sponge with some filling that I can't quite identify. I don't know what pandan is. I'm trying to maybe separate it so I can see. Unidentifiable sweet. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's not bad. Would I turn it down? No. But like I said, much better with a cup of tea, I think. Because it needs that bit of moisture. It's a little bit dry. But I'm going to eat some more of it anyway. Mm. I wanted a little cake today. And that, in fact, was a little cake. And not, you know, a little cake. <laughs> Which is helpful. Okay. I am pleased with today's offerings. Came from my brand new munch box. By the way, this is a box that I subscribe to. Um, it is not sponsored. Although if Munch Addict wanted to sponsor me, I think I would be quite tickled with that prospect. And I get an assortment of snacks every month. Munch Addict. I was just thinking they're a little heavy on the Korea snacks usually, but this time it's not, there There are like three or four Korea snacks in the box, but it's not like some months. And I got snacks from a new place that I had not had before, which is Ireland. And these chips, crisps, whatever, these are the bomb.com. Mmm. Mmm. After having that sweet little layer cake, then eating this, wow. That's like a new mommy bomb, y'all. Out of the three things today, now I love chocolate. So the Hershey's, I mean, they're, they're all good. None of them bite, right? This is, but this is number one for me. This is number two. And this is number three. And like I said, it's not bad. It's just, it wasn't as good to me as the other two. But this, ooh, nice little chippy chips. Mm-hmm. Why can't we get flavors like this? Beef and onion. I'd buy that. I would buy this snack. I like the flavor. I mean, you would think they would sell them over here anyway with that flavor because, you know, Americans are all about eat all the beef, blah, blah, blah. I want to have it on a chip. Anyway, what have you tried lately that's neat, new, and different for you? It may not be neat, new, and different for everybody else, but have you tried something new lately? Tell me about it. Let me know. Because I always like to know what people are trying. Maybe I get to try something new out of that too. Because I will go and search it out. Because that's kind of what I do. Love me some food. Anyway, thanks y'all for coming by. Enjoy a little snack around the world with me. Oh, by the way, this, uh, in case you're wondering what this is sitting here. This is my um, CGM. Continuous glucose monitor. I've got a little sensor poked onto me. And then this says what my sugar is and stuff, which right now it's 119, which is not bad considering I just had a couple of sweetie things. So 
not bad. I don't have a pocket on this dress, so just wear this to keep it around me so I don't leave, leave it somewhere and then have it sit there beeping like crazy because it'll do that. Uh, thank you again for coming by. Leave me a comment down below. Where would you like me to find a snack from? That could be interesting because sometimes they're hard to find, but I would love to track stuff down. I like food. I like trying new things. Hit me up.